All right, we're going to take a look at how dates and times work in a spreadsheet. We're using Google Sheets right here. We're going to go through some examples and you'll see how things get a little weird. All right, let's try it. So let's start out with just a random day, pretty close to what it is today. And we're extracting the year, the month, and the day. So everything's going as planned so far, right? You think that's July 30th, 2022, but there's no hours, minutes, or seconds. Okay, still makes sense, right? But if we show it as a number, so we're still looking at A2, which is a simple cell reference, but I've gone into formatting and I've gone to the number options and I've said, this is a number. So in other words, don't show it as a date. It comes out as 44,772. All right, weird, right? So uh, let's go forward to understand this a little bit better. So let's use uh, July 30th again, 2022. And then we'll just say, uh, we'll say it's uh, 12 p.m. We hit enter and it reckon, let's stretch this out a little bit. It recognized that as a date because it shifted to the right. So when Google Sheets recognizes something as a number, it shifts it over. That gives you a little hint. Uh, and let's take these functions and repeat them on this row. So I'll just drag them down. And it started working the same as said 2022, uh, July 30th. But then when we use the hour function, it picks up 12 hours. And this is still making sense though. So it's saying exactly noon uh, with no minutes and seconds. And the interesting thing here is when we show it as a number, the number incremented by 0.5. Okay, so a half of a day is a half of a number. So, all right, so far so good. What we see here is that Google Sheets is converting one day to one integer value, right? Because uh, noon is going to 50%. So let's try this backwards. Let's say you had 44,771, let's say. Uh, so we're starting with a number, but when we drag this down, We'll see, it just goes backward in time one day. So it's just a formatting issue, 44,771. It's the same as typing in July 29th, 2022. But now let's do something that I think really throws a wrench into it and makes us think about how, what is going on and how it's happening. Let's type in, uh, pick a time, any time. How about 3.33 p.m.? Since I put the space and the PM in there, it should recognize it as a number. We'll see if I press enter, it'll shift it to the right. Okay, that did work. It just filled in zero seconds, which is fine. But if I look at what the value of this is, I drag this down. That's weird, right? So it's made it 1899, December 30th. Uh, the hours and the minutes look like we expected, but the number, formatting here is really telling us what's going on. And what's going on is that if you use a time with no date, it makes it all the way back to when Google Sheets started randomly assigned a date to start counting days from. So here we got to 44,771 because that's that many days away from December 30th, 1899. Uh, why they chose that day, I'm sure there's an interesting story, but that's a story from another for, for uh, another day. But it is helpful to know if you use a time with no date, it's just a fraction of a number. All right, the last one we're going to look at is just a blank cell. So what happens if we uh, analyze the time and the date value of nothing? So we will drag these down again. And this is another weird result, right? You might expect the error from the function, functions, but instead they'll tell you that uh, this uh, nothing or zero as a date value is December 30th, 1899. When you format as a number, just nothing comes up because there's nothing there. So hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about dates. If it just made it more confusing, this next video is going to go through how to use dates and times and formulas, and that should help you out in your next spreadsheet. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.